This is the Coleman Catalytic Heater. This one was made uh, sometime between 40 and 50 years ago. This one's an older one. Catalytic heaters have been around since the 1930s and I bought this to heat the cabin. Now the way these work is there's a, there's a, turn this here, there's a switch here. You pull that in and you lift this top off. Now the top's hinged so it just opens. This here is the cover over the catalytic portion of the heater. You get your fuel fill hole. Um, this uses Coleman fuel, same as the stoves and the lanterns and the lamps that I use. On this side over here, get a little knob. Push it forward there, it says start. And then when you pull it back, it's actually high to low. It's marked here on the side. So to start this thing, I never fill the tank. I always use uh, So when I fill my Coleman stoves and lanterns and things like that, I use this Chinese metal teapot. So I put one teapot full, full of fuel into this. I then cap it. Now when you go to start these, you put your fuel in, you set your lever to start, you close this, you pick the whole thing up, and you turn it upside down for a few seconds. Um, two or three seconds is usually enough. You turn it right side up, you open it up, and this one's empty, but you will see right here on the top, somewhere between a quarter and a silver dollar sized wet spot, that's the fuel. If it's not there, turn it upside down, hold it a little bit longer. You want that quarter to half dollar sized spot. Now, once you've got that, you put this unit on the ground and you light that. This will flame up and it will burn for three or four, maybe five minutes, and then the flame will go out. Now, I couldn't get a picture of it running because it's just not very bright. Basically, this sides of this around here glow red once it's going. There's no flame, there's no odor, provided you don't leave it on start. Um, it just heats. On the first time I ran this in the cabin, I left it on start. You could smell gas inside here. And I tell you what, it about burned us out of here. It was so hot. It got the interior of this cabin to a good 85, 90 degrees. Um, I was sweating. It was so hot. This time I turned it all the way down to low when I ran it last night and it kept it a good 78, 79 degrees in here. It's, uh, it was down to 39 last night out there, so that's not bad. That teapot worth of fuel is enough to run this between six and seven hours and that meant that it went out before I got up in the morning and in all honesty it was a bit chilly in here when I did get up but it went out two or three hours before I got up. All in all they're good little heaters. You can find them at garage sales and junk shops. I actually got this one at an estate sale. It was sitting on a shelf in the garage. I asked how much got it for 15 bucks. So they can be cheap. Um, all in all they're a good little heater. They're easy to light and they definitely do their job.